Today, I'm going to be showing my 1,144th game collection. I probably have more in free games, but if we scroll down here, I've actually been keeping track since 2016, guys. Right? I have been keeping track since 2018. They all got deleted this day, sadly. But other than that, guys, I have basically a keep record of it, right? So in 2019, in September, I had 565 games, right? Well, now... I have 140. The reason why it says 194 here is because I got EA Pass, and I put it here, but I didn't realize EA Pass counted as your game library. Either more. I have OBS running to record this video, but I haven't even played this game yet. But I'm just going to show you what we have. So I'm going to basically sh put, them, put them all in little years. So I have eight games I haven't played since 2014. I actually have zero I've not played since 2015. That's kind of odd. So I have all the years. So I'm not going to go through every game. That's like almost impossible. But I'm not going to start here. I'm going to start on my library. Just really fast. So this is my most played games. I'm not going to go down the whole list. But we have Counter-Strike, PUBG, which I love. I have 400 hours. Obviously, I have 800 hours in this game. I had this game since I got Steam in 2014. This is probably one of my first games, but my first game ever was Terraria. The reason I got a computer was because I was obsessed with Terraria, but on mobile and console, it wasn't as updated as a PC version. So I had to get Terraria on a computer just so I can be the most updated because I was obsessed with it. And furthermore, we have obviously Black Ops 2, one of my favorite games ever. Battlefield 5, phenomenal. So all these top games, they're going to be my favorites because I have so many hours on them and W3 classic the best Call of Duty ever made I don't know this is pretty good too Half-Life 2 funny story about this I was going on vacation right I was playing on my computer I was playing Half-Life 2 I didn't even get I barely played it and then we paused it we went on our plane I came back and I realized my computer was left on so I was on vacation for 169 hours interesting and I haven't played since 2017 that's this. That's the story of that game. OBS I just use sometimes. I leave on videos and stuff. BTD Five, phenomenal game. I love this game. BTD Six is amazing, but this is just so classic gameplay. Black Flag, love this game. I can't wait for the new Ubisoft Pirate game. But this is still good to this day. I'm trying to 100% complete it. I've played it on and off, but I have a lot of gold in this. Um, GTA Five. Speaks for itself, classic. War at War, one of my first games I had because before Black Ops 3 came out, I had this because we needed uh, custom maps. Now Black Ops 3 has all the custom maps. Geometry Dash, honestly, bro, I had this on my laptop and I was playing this a lot on my laptop. <clears throat> so that's why I have a lot of hours. I could just close the tab, open it. Fallout 4, phenomenal game. Speaks for itself. Black Ops 2, MW3. Let me go down the list. Peppa Pig, phenomenal game. Really good. South Park, Sick of Truth. These are just bangers. These are all bangers I have. But let's just go to my library. Cobra Kai. I got Risk Goat going on over here. We just have too many games to count. I don't even know what's easier to go through. Like, what's the easiest way to see these? Like, I kind of just want to go 2014. So I haven't played these games in 2014. Daisy, Experimental, The Hunter Classic. Played one minute of it. Gun Monkeys is this game. I looked it up. It doesn't even work anymore. This game is like more than the gamer. And it's like teaching how to build games. It's the stupidest thing ever. I got this game for free. And I don't know what how to work it. I remember getting that game. Um. Oh, I remember getting these in um, 2017. I was getting all these like... I was buying like mystery keys. And I was getting all these shit games I didn't even want to play. And I got pissed off. I'm like, why am I getting... Oh, what's this game? came out 2016 what the heck is this game looks like a looks like a 2003 like a free computer game okay and then 2017 half-life action going on these just a lot of laying games that nothing catches my eye that i would oh i have 16 hours in rocket league and i have not played since 2016 the game came out 2015 so like i honestly don't know why I haven't played it. It's actually pretty good, but I don't know the story of that one. Day of Defeat. Deathmatch. 
15. I didn't even play. Oh, I played this one. I remember exploring these maps, like, comparing them and stuff. I think I beat the campaign on this. I beat the campaign several times on 360 and PS3, so I'm pretty sure it was PC as well. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. This is a game I grew up on playing. I actually bought this just so I can replay it. I guess it was 2018, but it did not seem like that long ago. But when I was a young kid... Oh, 20th and... Oh, whoa! Okay. I grew up... Up, up, playing this game. Perfect for kids. I rebought in 2018. 20th Annie. Right? I rebought this game in 2018, right? To bring back memories. Oh, I'm kind of bad at typing right now. Normally I'm good. I'm bring back memories. Fun for kids. Beard. I don't know how I didn't post a review for this. This is a phenomenal game. Freddy the Fish. I grew up. This is like my first computer game when I was probably like 2003 or 4. I had this. Postal. Come on, bro. Postal. This game, I just got. I got this game from Humble Bundle. I didn't even look at much 2019. We have a lot more to look at. Pewdie. Oh my god. This is classic. It was when like... This is when like the PewDiePie versus T-Series thing was going on. This game got made. It was free. Obviously review. What did I review it? Okay. I was just memeing. Bioshock Remastered. I played a little bit of that. I remember that. Dude, I'm looking at these games. And I remember playing them. It does not seem like I played this game in 2019. Jesus Christ. And this game, too, I remember playing this vividly. This game I remember playing, and it was... I didn't really like it that much. Um, yeah, Hogwarts. I just have so much games, dude. I, did I click to play this? No. That, oh, Lego. I haven't played this game in a while. Ghost Run, I haven't played this game yet at all. I bought it. Oh, it's only 8 bucks now. I should play this game, but I've... Honestly, dude, I don't know what to do. There's just too much games to click. Like, I can't go through a thousand games. That's kind of boring. Um, Halo, Tomb Raider, Pirates, Sin Minister Pirates, BTD6. Like, oh, Warehouse and Logics, Reigns, Tomb Raider, Limbo, Dead Rising 3, Lego Star Wars, Wallpaper, Rocket League, Sea of Thieves, Lego Star Wars, Complete Saga, Bioshock, Infinite, Witcher Wild Hunt, Forza 4 Horizon, Pajama Man Sue, Thunder and Lightning, Ain't So Frightening. This is actually the Freddy Fish, same company as this, same gameplay, same graphics, just different characters. Call of Duty MW3 2 Warzone. Make it indie. I got this game for cards left on overnight. Ark Survival Involved. Barely played it. My friends made me get it. I don't like it as much as they do. Left 4 Dead 2. Classic. Banger. Amazing. I suggest everyone get this game. This game was free at one point. It was on sale for 100% off, so I downloaded it, but it cost money. Uh, I'm going really fast here because we can get through this risk the forest. I got this game day one Day freaking one. I got this game out Phenomenal. I don't think I Played much of this but I do remember it. Fallout New Vegas Phenomenal game one of my first games as you can see 2016 The new kind of adventure. I got this left on overnight for card drops Surgeon sim this game was bopping back in the day in 2014 this is like super popular this is what like made people get computers and this is what people watch online like he's got millions of views these types of games star wars battlefront 2 bro if you don't have this game i don't know what's wrong with you killing force it's, it's a good game riptide's good man i love that i'm a Island fan this is just another indie game indie game subnautica amazing never alone shelter 2 which is a pretty good game postal 2 bro you gotta get all the postal games they're phenomenal monster hunter world monster hunter games are just fun in my opinion, I'm not a huge Civ fan. Dead Island, for not, dude, I beat this game three times. Morrowind, this is, if you like Elder Scrolls, get it. Tomb Raider, there's another Tomb Raider, they're all the same. Literally, they're all the same. I can't tell the difference between all of them. Damage Control, Indie Game, good game. You need this game. This is a classic computer game. Indie Game, Walking Dead, amazing. Indie Game, I don't, I've got this game for Zombies. It's Zombies is pretty good, everything else sucks. Hello Neighbor, Good Game, Rage 2, Infestation, Hogwarts Legacy, a banger, indie game. This game right here, 
is on sale for five dollars, but it's only fifty bucks. So five dollars, you get ninety percent off. That's a steal and a half. I am gonna hold you. But anyways, guys, there's just too much games to talk about. I haven't played a lot of them. Like, look, I just just get games too much. I don't play them. I haven't played this game. What? Okay. Damn, this game's not cheap. Yeah, so I waste too much money on Steam. Moral of the story, don't buy download games you're never going to play. They don't do anything. Like, these Indiana Jones games, I was like, oh, I'm going to definitely play these, right? They're two bucks, but still, bro, I haven't touched them. They look fun. They look like a good game. Like, look at these graphics, 99 graphics. This was on a Nintendo 64, so it's a Nintendo 64 game. Either way, guys, I... This is probably boring because there's just so many games. Like... And most of these games are trash, but there's a lot of good ones. A lot of good ones. If you want to add me on Steam, add me, look at my game profile. That's all I can really say. Other than that, you heard me once, you heard me twice.